Hey guys, Jamie here, Keeping It Coy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So, as you can see today, I'm in the van. I've got the merch on. I have been invited up to a dealer. So, uh, let's get going. And I will catch you when we get there. So we've made it, nearly two hour drive. So I'm gonna get me bits together and then I'm gonna go and uh, go and find them. So I'll catch you in there. So here we are, we're walking up the drive, find out where we are. Now, I've been invited to uh, Beacon Coy. You may have seen a recent video from uh, Coy Beginnings. He's recently been here as well. So we've been invited up to come and have a look. So I'll snap back to you when we get in and have a chat. So, as you walk into the garage, we've just had a bit of a, a chat and a chinwag. But uh, I'm just going to have a show you around first. You've got your first two vats in here. I've got some absolutely cracking fish. Really does. Got some real nice goshkis in it at the minute. But uh, I'll have a, have a closer look at the fish in a bizzle. Arazi drum, can't beat an Arazi drum. And I've got some really nice big ones in here, look. Look at these bad boys. Got some real similar chags to, to my chag down there, look. That's totally gorgeous. Oh, look at that shower. Ooh, stunning. Yeah, got all your dry goods in here as well. Got all your medications and oh that is my favourite food, aqua sauce. We've just been talking about aqua sauce actually. But uh, yeah, it's what they feed their fish here. So damn good food, the old aqua sauce. This one's on an easy pod. Yeah, and then oh, spook the fish. And as you come out of the garage. So the main pond. It's beautiful. Look at these guys. Ooh. Absolutely gorgeous. They all look hungry. They all look hungry. Oh, wow. We could stand here all day. Yeah. And then... We have, uh, they've got doggies here. And they are friendly doggies. They're just noisy doggies. And if we walk up the garden, it's a lovely place, it really is. But we walk up the garden, and then we get to the back of the garden, and look at these numbered vats. There we go. I'm being followed by the doggy. Here's the other doggy. Hello, doggy. Hello doggy! Hmm? Been following me all afternoon. Yeah, so in these vats, I believe in numbers one to three are uh, Israeli koi. Got some big ones in there. Look at that orchuba. That's a nice orchuba. I'd say it's around 60 cm as well. Pretty darn close. Oh, some nice ones in here, look. Can't beat some amazing fish. Look 
Can't really see what's in there. We'll have to get round there a bit later. Let's uh, come back over this way. And if we go round to look at the last back over here. These ones though, these are not Israeli, these are Japanese in here. Got some awesome Jim Rim Chags. But it's the Goshkis in here for me that take take first place. Got some really nice Tansho Goshki in here. In fact, there's a few Tansho Goshki inside as well. And, uh, yeah. Definitely. But yeah, was being invited up. Invited up to, uh, to come and have a look. Uh, as I said earlier, Mike from Koi Beginnings uh, has recently been up as well. I oh, really do have some nice tan shows. Um, fantastic little place. It's not the biggest place in the world. Um, I mean, you all saw my uh, Clearwater Koi video. His place isn't the biggest place in the world, but just the quality of the fish. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, you don't need to be a massive retailer to have high quality fish. You really don't. And like Mike said in his video, because this is a, a house that they've turned into a, a business, then they haven't got the same overheads um, that the big dealers do, so they can pass that savings on to us as hobbyists. But uh, yeah, these, these fish are absolutely cracking. And now I'm wet. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find the lads again and uh, we'll see if we can get some food, maybe feed some fish and have a bit of a closer look. I'll snap back to you all in a bizzle. So I'm just walking back up to the shop, as you can see, that's what you're in for if you visit. Uh, it's only a little place, but uh, yeah, they're really, really friendly. I've had my cup of coffee already and some cake, had some cake, played fetch with a dog. Um, but yeah, we'll have a, have a bit of a closer look now at some fishies and see what they've got in for sale. But uh, yeah, if anybody as tall as me comes in, watch your head. <laughs> and as you can see guys, um, whilst I've been chatting, we've been having a quick flip through their uh, website. Um, now looking at their fish under £500 and my God, do they have some amazing fish. Um, there's one of the Tancho Goshkis there. Um, they've got, as I said earlier, they've got an awful lot of Goshkis in at the moment, but I do love a Goshki, and uh, so does a few other people. Don't we, Popsy? We love a Goshki. But yeah, they've got some absolutely fantastic koi uh, available. Um, off the back of Mike's video, they have sold uh, a few, so some you might see in this video and on the website might no longer be available. Um, but as you can see, they've, what's on the website is not every fish um, they've got there. That was a really nice Maritan Kahaku. But uh, yeah, all the ones on their website are their high quality Japanese uh, koi. But they do have uh, Israeli koi in as well, starting from just £10. Just £10. I haven't uh, looked on their website at the Israeli koi. But uh, yeah, they have literally got a budget for everyone from their sort of show quality fish right down to your 10 pound starter fish so uh, yeah if you're in the area beacon koi is over at birmingham um so yeah if you're in the area um, go over and check them out there they have an absolutely beautiful facility look at this guys shinoda here at surrey 47 cm, absolute cracking fish. Look at the face pattern on that. Now, if you want quality, that is a fish that you want. Very even in pattern. Very, very nice. And here we have an absolute. Gorgeous Issa Shoa 49 cm, absolute beast of a fish. The body on that is absolutely cracking, and again, really nice head pattern. 
Uh, I did forget to mention the uh, last one in the bowl was 6.95 for a 47 cm high at Surrey, and this one at 49 cm. We're looking at 7.95. Now, that to me is not expensive for what you get. When when you come to dealers and you see fish of this quality and this size, you know it's going to have a price tag on it. And 7.95 is not a big price tag. Absolutely stunning. And here we have another shower. Look at this. Marisai, this one. Big old mouth. Means it's going to eat a lot of food. Yeah, this one, 40 cm. 325. Half the price of the last one. And absolutely stunning. In my opinion, I like this one better. But that is down to you. But, uh, I love the dark fins on a shower. And this one has quite quite even fins on this one. A bit more development to do on that side. But the body and the fins on that to me just make just makes this fish. I like this one. Here we have a lovely bowl of small shower. I reckon the big one in there, what, 25 ish, maybe push, getting close to 30. He's over about 25 or a bit more. And then we've got three absolutely cracking Deutz showers. I must admit, on this occasion, although I do prefer a Deutz fish, I think that one's the best. The body on that fish for its age. It's stunning, but if you like a Deutz shower or a Deutz fish, look at them. Absolutely cracking. Look at that for a bowl of Goshki. Now we know a few of the subscribers like Goshki. It is hilarious. But we all know Jamie loves a Tancho. Look at that. Tancho Goshki, the gin on that, I mean it's even coming out quite good on the camera, that is absolutely shining like a Christmas cracker. And that one. And there's three of them again then, you can obviously tell that them two are absolutely shining. And that is a beautiful Tancho. Now Popsy, some koi for you look.
and the big Israelis. Right then guys, yeah, this that's uh, Beacon Koi. I've had an absolutely fantastic day. The missus is going to kill me. She doesn't know I'm here. And it's half past four. Been here all day. Um, been a crack, absolutely cracking day. The guys that run the place are absolutely brilliant. Come down, have a chat with them. Have a look at their amazing fish. I mean, you, you've seen them all on the video today. Some of them we've had a nice close look at. But they've been so kind and generous for their hospitality. Drank many of them several cakes beans on toast loved it but one thing that's what they've done for me what have they done for you guys as well as stocking some amazing fish get a load of this guys they have offered me well they have offered you the chance to win a freebie now everybody loves a freebie so I'm sure you've all seen this on YouTube by now the fresh PSB, supposedly live bacteria. Some people believe in it, some people don't. Whether we do or don't, we all use it. And we've got some of the pure pom bombs as well. So when I get home, I will be letting you know exactly what you can do to win both of these. Now they'll go out to one, one person, in the same box and they are coming to you from Beacon Koi but uh, in fact no I'm going to tell you now let me spin you back round so if you would like to win the fresh PSB and the pure pond balls and bombs and whatever they are I mean we all know I've still got loads of these in my drum filter that's been there for years but they're still they're still bubbling away um, yeah so if you want to win this what you need to do, as well as leaving a comment about what you think of the place, you need to hashtag Beacon Koi. Now I'll put that along here on the bottom. Well, that's Beacon Koi there. That's their website, which I will show you the website in due course. But uh, yeah, leave a comment what you think of the place and hashtag Beacon Koi. And on that note, guys, I'll catch you back at mine in a bizzle. So yeah, all in all, it was an absolutely fantastic day. Um, had no idea I would be there that long. It is now almost 20 to 7. I don't know if you guys can quite see that there. Turn my wrist round. There you go, look, 20 to 7. Left here at 10 in the morning. It was a two hour drive, but still, for uh, a relatively small uh, facility, I've been a very long time yet again, just like I did with Clearwaters. But the guys there that run the place, absolutely fantastic chaps. Very, very welcoming, very knowledgeable. Um, some cracking, cracking fish. Um, thank you so much, guys, for the invite. Really, really, really enjoyed the day. Didn't come home empty-handed. I've been a good boy again, though. I haven't come home with any fish because I still need to move a few more on before I uh, buy any more. But what I did come home with... Is I'm, we all know Aquasource food is my go-to main food that the koi get. And I use the All Seasons with Garlic 99.9% .9 of the time, mixed in with other bits and bobs. But uh, this time, I have picked up some Ultimate All Seasons 
so this is supposed to be their best uh, all seasons food and this is the one with the old probiotics or prebiotics even um, four to five mil pellet which is what I generally get anyway three kilo bag only a small bag weeks worth of food <laughs> for all the fish but uh, yeah I've still got a fair bit of the higher protein ones to use at the minute so I'm going to leave that mixed in with what I've got left of the all seasons with garlic and then when that's gone I'm going to mix some of that with the all seasons with garlic and then maybe start thinking of uh, starting to get some more winter foods because uh, we are pretty much in autumn now um, end of August what are we 24th of August today um, so yeah Mm -hmm. not long and winter will be on its way so that's a shame one thing they have given me though to to trial just just for myself not not for their knowledge but uh obviously the giveaway um that, that they've offered to you guys which is again absolutely fantastic of them everyone loves a freebie but so they obviously giving away the psb um bacteria and the pom balls and what they've given me to try little bag little bag but uh fresh psb now i ain't gonna lie they've, they've not given me it because of this reason but they were sent it by mistake um so they've been giving it to um loyal and regular customers of theirs but uh this this one apparently is live live bacteria which is why it has a very very short but yeah best before february this year so it's already expired so if there was any live bacteria in there it's probably not live now but psb you know the usual big bottles they sit on a shelf for months at a time anyway so we'll give it a go i'm gonna go and put that in now the koi do need feeding so i'll take you along with me because uh as i say, I left here at 10 this morning and it's now 6 40 on the dot so let's go over and feed some koi Very aggressive feeders, my koi, aren't they? <laughs> but yeah, they're all still loving life. I think they've missed me today. But yeah, what an absolutely fantastic place we've been to. They had some cracking koi. But yeah, that's them fed. Now the medium sized fishies. As always guys these fish won't come up while we're stood here and um, I could leave you sat there for ages come back and do some editing but I've got other fish to feed so I'm gonna go over and feed the fry and unfortunately these guys are still very skittish since the uh, the old heron so, uh, a month ago they were swimming into my little feeding net and now they don't come anywhere near me, which is a big shame. But uh, they'll be fine when they get in the main pond, or those that are, those that are staying. But yeah, I'm really shocked how much they've grown over the last couple of weeks, literally just a couple of weeks, because we've finally had some, not proper summer, but some warm weather at least. This fat's been over 22 degrees for the last, um, about, about two to three weeks now. Uh, it's all, even overnight it's kept uh, at 22 or above so yeah they've done some serious growing and I'd say there's one or two in there pushing 30 now yeah so uh, well that's them fed anyway but again like uh, the ones in the net they ain't gonna come up while I'm stood here so I will leave them be in fact before leaving them be what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a little bit of this fresh PSB into there it does say shake well before use and I've just given it a big shake so we'll give them a little bit of that uh, reduces pollution quick action and clears water well, we'll see about that to be honest I think the color of this water now because it's got a 55 watt UV on this little fry vat I'm pretty sure it's just all food tans from the uh, small fry food they've got and then the rest of it I'm gonna pour in here or is there a maximum 
overdosing is not harmful but can cloud the water store at four degrees I'm pretty sure my van was a bit hotter than four degrees on the way here but never mind and we'll pour a bit in the net and a bit outside the net and I'll probably put the rest in tomorrow because we don't want to overdo it 10 mil per 50 litres oh, flipping out might as well chuck the lot in Being that much out of date, I can't imagine it's going to do any miracles, but uh, yeah, that's now in there. So, empty bag of fresh PSB. But yeah, quick action look, clears water, reduces pollution, aquariums of up to 250 litres. So I'm guessing it's designed for aquariums, but 10 mil per 50 litres. But uh, you never know, might do something. Yeah, so a massive thank you again, Simon, for the invite. Thoroughly enjoyed the day. Everyone loves uh, spending a day nerding out on Koi, so really enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for my little freebie. Um, we'll find out if it makes a difference. Probably won't, but can't really sell it, can they? It's already out of date, so we've chucked it in the pond. I'll let you know if it does make any difference whatsoever. But I usually use the big bottles of uh, big PSB anyway. Um, that's just fish still munching their last few pellets and pushing each other out the way. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. I mean, the, the fish there were absolutely mwah, like pucker perfect. Um, really was. If I had the room, I would have probably come home with a few fish. They really did have a, have a few nice fish there, um, more than a few. So uh, yeah, they cater for everybody's budget. Um, as, as has been said before, you know, they've got fish ranging from 10 pounds up to 1,500, 2,000 pounds. So really got something for everybody. Um, if you haven't been there and you're close by, um, go and check it out, Beacon Koi. Um, if you've seen any fish in the video today, I wanna give them a call. That's their details there. So you can give them a call. Um, I'll put their website details and everything in the video description as well. Um, and yeah, just, just an absolute awesome day. Really, really good day. So yeah, guys. So yeah, don't forget to enter the competition. Reminder again, all you need to do is a small comment about what you thought of the place and then at the end of that hashtag beacon koi now beacon koi is spelt like this hashtag beacon koi and you need to write it exactly like that down there yeah we're gonna let that competition run for two weeks from today um and then we'll do a a draw either a wheel of death or pick random comment picker and uh, to the lucky winner they'll forward me the address and i'll forward it on to um beacon koi and beacon koi will post out your uh, two products directly so that is so so kind of them normally if uh, a youtuber goes up to a dealer sometimes the dealer uh, is nice enough to give us youtubers a mug a pen or something a small pack of fresh PSB but it's very rare they think of you guys the viewers so that is uber fantastic of them so I just want to give a massive thank you one more time to Simon and and oh just thank you so much for inviting me up there been an absolutely fantastic day so yeah on that note guys if you've uh, enjoyed the video please do give it a like let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below and don't forget hashtag beacon koi if you would like to support me in the things that i do on this channel hit the thanks button down below and if you'd like to stay up to date with everything that i do on the channel hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and that will remind you when new content comes out um, you might want to do that if you're entering the competition so you can see the draw video so thanks all for watching and we will catch you all on the next one
quality is unreal.